It's Monday morning, July 6th. That's squirt. Today's passage teaches us about the dangers of pride. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. It is better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoil with the proud. In English, we often use the word pride in a way that implies it's a good thing. My son got straight A's. I'm so proud of him. Or we do it in reference to our work. I love my job. That's good work right there. However, when the Bible talks about pride, it means something different from this. Something ugly. Something spiritually dangerous. Pride is having an excessively high opinion of our own worth or importance. It suggests arrogance or an overbearing conduct. Pride is that independent spirit that says, I have no need of God. Arguably, therefore, it is at the root of all sin. The primary evil of pride is that it's based on false information. 1 Corinthians 4, 7 says, What do you have that you did not receive? And if you received it, why do you boast as if you did not receive it? Ultimately, we owe everything we are and everything we have to God. And the thought that our excellence is due to ourselves is essentially a falsehood. Moreover, pride is irreverent and pride is ungrateful because it constantly ignores the source of every blessing. Pride is ugly and offensive. I'm not talking about a holy kind of genuine self-respect. Maybe if we could coin a different English phrase to describe how proud we are of our kids or, or the satisfaction we take in a job well done, there wouldn't be this spiritual confusion about how dangerous pride really is. Pride is an overconfident estimate of our own importance or value. And it's ugly. Pride mars a person's character like a scar mars a person's body. Pride is positively offensive to the spirit and, and it is repeatedly and severely condemned by God as a serious sin. No biblical truth is more constantly illustrated than this verse. Pride goes before destruction. Pride creates this false confidence that leads us into a spiritual place of danger and then comes the fall. Pride goes before destruction. It can happen in health, it can happen in business, it can happen in positions of leadership and power. There's no part of your life in which pride is not a dangerous guide. It leads us up to and only all too often over the edge of the proverbial cliff. It's better to be of a lowly spirit with the poor than to divide the spoils with the proud. Humility its the opposite of pride. We admire genuine humility. It's, it's valuable as a Christian character. It graces a godly life with a beauty that no other quality can supply. Humility is the only trustworthy guide and it will lead you to the kingdom of God. It's the humble heart, conscious of personal sin, that seeks the Savior. It is the guide that leads our spirit to the cross. Pride, it's a slippery place where we're sure to slip and fall. Humility is the ground where devotion finds its home and where God is ready to give us a shield of protection. Lord, today, help me to swallow my pride and walk humbly before you and before men. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.